this is Cambridge, Massachusetts. I came here by the side of the river today to film the Canadian geese, which you can see are right here. There are several of them. But my main reason to come here today was that I saw there were several goslings. Uh, they were following their mothers, or rather the mothers were following them. Uh, I see these things while driving by the river all the time, but I never had the camcorder with me to record them. So I came here on purpose today to film the goslings. But unfortunately, <laughs> I don't see any goslings right here. Uh, this is a general view of the river. In the far, that one, that building is the Harvard Boathouse. And this river, which is flowing along or flowing through Cambridge, and which actually divides Cambridge and Boston, is called the Charles River. Let me give you a quick view of the river. This is the Charles River, and a lot of activities take place here during the weekends like the rowers and the boaters you can see a couple of row boats are going there actually there is only one boat i can see through my lcd screen a couple of rowers in the same boat and that's the other side of the river where people are jogging and if you really look close that's the memorial drive and I'm sta standing on the uh, other side of the bridge across from Memorial Drive. On my back there is Toro Drive. Let me give you a view of Toro Drive. That is Toro Drive. That is on the other side of the river. That is technically the Boston side. Can you see some cars going by? That is the Storo Drive. Okay, I think I can see a few rowboats now. One is yellow, one is blue. Oh, they are kind of relaxing, standing street still. They are not rowing at the moment. And I think one more is coming from this side. Where is it? There it is. I saw it to the corner of my eye. That's another rowboat going. One more time, this is the Charles River. Technically, this divides the city of Cambridge and the city of Boston. This uh, flows through these two cities. And these are the, go not goslings, that's what I came to, I hoped to see. But these are the Canadian geese, uh, which are almost always here. Anytime you come here you can see these geese and they are huge in number. Uh, I don't know, sometimes I see them in hundreds. Today I think there are about a dozen or dozen and a half. But where are the goslings? Have the goslings all grown up by now? Even a couple of weeks ago I saw little ones. Maybe they are resting someplace. They are not out here at this moment. This is in the afternoon. Today is Saturday. I don't know the date. Something like 18th of July or something like that. I completely forgot the date. But today is Saturday. And the time will be like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. But where are the goslings? No goslings to be found. These are all the adult geese. Canadian geese. They are just relaxing. And I think the rowers are on the move now. I can see one boat going this way. That's kind of orangish or orange colored. 
and there is a blue colored boat. These are all Harvard students actually. They are relaxing on a Saturday afternoon and doing some rowing practice or some ah, exercise, whatever you call it. And let me just pan over slowly and see that Harvard Boathouse one more time. Uh, that's a magnificent one. I love this boathouse. Let me see if I can show you a little bit. One boat is going right there. That's the boathouse. That particular boathouse is actually in the corner of Memorial Drive and John F. Kennedy Street, right at the corner of these two main streets. And let me see, that's the bridge over which the John F. Kennedy Street goes from Cambridge towards Alston or Boston. And the business school is on the left-hand side uh, of me those are Harvard Business School buildings the top of buildings and well there is one right behind me actually these are all business school campus Again, these are the business school, Harvard Business School buildings. Am I too close? Yes. See these buildings? They all belong to the Harvard Business School. And that is Toro Drive running uh, in front of Business School campus. Storo Drive is on the Boston side and Memorial Drive which is on the other side of the river, runs parallel to Toro Drive, that is Cambridge. Memorial Drive is in Cambridge, in other words. Anyway, my purpose was to film the goslings, the baby geese, but I could not find any. Maybe they are not out in the afternoon. I have to come another time with my camcorder, sometimes in the morning maybe. Most of the times I saw them while driving by. Uh, if I remember correctly, all the time I spotted them were in the morning. So maybe this is not a good time to look for them. But since I came with the camcorder, I am doing some filming. That's the store drive going, a cyclist passed by. The geese are now crossing the, the walkway, the walking path. See these geese, they were on the other side of the path before. And they have crossed over. So one is crossing right now. There we are. And still one more is coming along. They are on the move. They are moving away from the water right now. Maybe their belly is full. They are kind of grazing in the grass. Looks like they eat only grass or vegetation. But why are your babies, ladies? The babies are at home taking an afternoon nap or what? Please let me know. I'm kind of disappointed. I came to film the babies today, but no babies to be found, only the adults and the adult bikers or cyclists. See that cyclist is crossing the, and another one is coming from behind, or no, coming in front of me, not one but two. Two cyclists are coming while well, I'm trying to film the geese. Where are the geese? There are the geese. A 
at least we have seen some of our geese but as I said they are found here almost year round most of the time and uh, they are here in hundreds actually that's the Harvard's emergency telephone booth a couple are on this side of the uh, walkway or walking path jogging path actually they call it jogging path and they are still grazing enjoying their afternoon meal maybe they are probably not full yet so they are not trying to cross over Hmm. It's nice to observe nature inside the city. I love it. Nature in the city. That's a real close up. Cyclist just passed by. This is nice. There is another one. There are a couple more on the back. And there are a few more over there. I think this is a flock of about a dozen or dozen and a half geese lying around here, around here. Great. I'm standing on the dual bridge now and filming the other bridge over which the John F. Kennedy Street or J.F. Kennedy Street uh, goes and they, there are some boats on the river below the bridge. Can you see them? I think there are a few. This is really a long long shot. I am zooming to the maximum, almost. And that's the Harvard Boathouse. That's a magnificent building actually, very majestic. I love it. There is a boat coming. They look lovely. Beautiful. They are rowing very leisurely, just enjoying the afternoon sun. It's a Saturday afternoon as I told already. Again I am standing on the Devil's Bridge and can you see those geese in the water? That's a beautiful scene. A flock of geese just slowly swimming and crossing the river. They are crossing from the Boston side and going towards the Cambridge side on Charles River. That's a long shot and I'm trying to zoom in. Sorry about that fast zooming. You see the geese? Isn't it beautiful? Nature at, at its best and you can enjoy it from the comfort of city life. You do not have to go out in the wild and fight the elements, fight the mosquitoes and other uh, kind of nuisance. I love it. There are the geese. 
basically I came to film them today but my main objective was to film their babies. Uh, they have some babies now but maybe they have grown up a little bit. I cannot see any or maybe since they have grown up I cannot spot the babies. They all, all look like adults to me. And that's the memorial drive. And let me just show you these are the buildings on the Cambridge side of the river. These are uh, mostly Harvard University buildings. That uh, multi-story building right in front of me with many balconies that's uh, called the what is it called Peabody Terrace or something I'm forgetting the name but anyway uh, and some of the Harvard University houses are here that's one of the Harvard houses these are some more this is another one with the blue dome on the top that is also a Harvard University house meaning the students live there. Beautiful scenery. There is one more, let me show you. Uh, there. That's another university house. That's where the undergraduate students live after their uh, freshman year. Couple more boats are crossing. The flock of geese that were crossing the river I showed you just a little bit, just a little while ago. They have crossed the river and they have reached the Cambridge side of the river and they are just relaxing, they are resting there. See? All of them are kind of in a group. They cross the river from Boston side to Cambridge side and they are sort of relaxing. This is wonderful. I can see slight movement going on there very gentle, slowly, leisurely enjoying the water and the breeze. I think their bellies are full now. They have eaten enough grass today. Again, that's a long shot. Uh, that's one of the buildings on the far side and that is yet another bridge. There are several bridges, at least a dozen of bridges that cross the Charles River, connects Boston and Cambridge. There is another bridge there, I think that's called the BU Bridge, I'm not sure, I forgot the name. Uh, that's not BU Bridge, BU Bridge is the next one after that, I think. Uh, that's the bridge we used to uh, go cross to catch the Massachusetts Turnpike. I use at least from uh, from my house where I live in Cambridge uh, if I need to go to Massachusetts Turnpike, the highway, uh, that's the way I go. I cross that bridge and on the other side of the bridge, uh, soon after that bridge, it connects with the Mass Turnpike. Cambridge is a beautiful city. I, I'm very glad that I live here. Okay. Thank you for watching. I'm stopping filming today. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.